but it may be fancied, that from the naked skeleton of the stranded whale, accurate hints may be derived touching his true form. Not at all, for it is one of the more curious things about this leviathan, that his skeleton gives very little idea of his general shape. Though Jeremy Bentham's skeleton, which hangs for candelabra in the library of one of his executors, correctly conveys the idea of a burly brow utilitarian old gentleman, with all Jeremy's other leading personal characteristics, yet nothing of this kind could be inferred from any leviathan's articulated bones. In fact, as the great hunter says, the mere skeleton of the whale bears the same relation to the fully invested and padded animal as the insect is to the chrysalis that so roundingly envelopes it. This peculiarity is strikingly evinced in the head, as in some part of this book will be incidentally shown. It is also very curiously displayed in the side fin, the bones of which almost exactly answer to the bones of the human hand, minus only the thumb. This fin has four regular bone fingers, the index, metal, ring, and little finger. But all these are permanently lodged in their fleshy covering, as the human fingers in an artificial covering. However recklessly the whale may sometimes serve us, said humorous stub one day, he can never be truly said to handle us without mittens. For all these reasons, then, any way you may look at it, you must needs conclude that the great leviathan is that one creature in the world which must remain unpainted to the last. True, one portrait may hit the mark much nearer than another, but none can hit it with any very considerable degree of exactness. So there is no earthly way of finding out precisely what the whale really looks like. And the only mode in which you can derive even a tolerable idea of his living contour is by going whaling yourself. But by so doing, you run no small risk of being eternally stove and sunk by him. Wherefore, it seems to me you had best not be too fastidious in your curiosity touching this leviathan.